let's talk a little bit about LG Electronics business strategy here because it's really interesting that when we think about LG, we sometimes think of washing machines and refrigerators. But it's actually the B2B business to business mm -hmm. segment that you're really focused on. Tell us why that's important to you. So B2B business is strategically important for LG Electronics future growth. Currently, B2B business account for 35% of total revenue uh, in 2024. And we aim for B2B business to make up more than 45% by oh, 2030. Wow. The reason we drive B2B businesses uh, because we have you know, many advantages over B2C. Uh, let me elaborate on the advantages. Uh, first, uh, B2B business is stable you know, from demand fluctuation and significant price drops. And business relationship tends to be longer term, creating the recycling, recurring businesses and third, uh, it creates value added you know, of the solution and services just beyond uh, selling product. So out of B2B businesses, uh, the fastest growing sectors are uh, vehicle solution and HVAC businesses. Due to the climate conditions and housing structures by region, uh, it is very difficult for one company to dominate a market with mm. one solution. So it means no global champion exists uh, and no one size fit, you know, everything. So the companies who like to be, uh, to be the leader in HVAC businesses uh, should come up with tailored local solutions for each market. When it also comes to growth in the future, mm -hmm. I've seen that you're making a lot of investments. Mm -hmm. The most recent one that I found, Alpha Intelligence mm -hmm. Fund, mm -hmm. $130 million fund for mm -hmm. investing in the AI startups. Right. How does all of this fit into the long-term strategy here? Okay, so our investment will mostly focus on three pillars. The first is to enhance the technology and our competencies uh, such as AI and uh, software. Uh, the second pillar is to invest into global expansion, uh, uh, including establishment of R&D center and manufacturing the footprint. The third investment goes to uh, the new growth engines, uh, including robots uh, and uh, EV chargers. When it comes to these investments, mm -hmm they also require mergers and acquisitions. Mm -hmm. You've been very active on mm -hmm. the M&A scene. Mm -hmm. What sectors are you looking at right now? So we strategically are targeting M&A and capital investment into our uh, future uh, engine areas, future growth engine areas, uh, such as HVAC and vehicle solutions and uh, emerging industry, uh, robot and the EV charging. When you talk about EV charging, mm. is it a concern to you that EV demand has been slow? I mean, this is a very saturated market. Mm. Yes, that's true. Nevertheless, the, uh, the ratio between EV charger and electric car is incredibly uh, unbalanced. There are still huge demand for EV chargers, though it's a potential for at least uh, until the electric car will get uh, its uh, previous the demand, uh, it will be in the enough demand for EV charger. And when it comes to these investments in artificial intelligence mm -hmm. solutions as well, how are you incorporating that mm -hmm. into existing device solutions for LG? Mm -hmm. The first is uh, real-time life intelligence. Mm. So uh, while uh, many uh, others rely on internet-based data, but our data is not limited to uh, online interaction. Our differentiation comes from richness of data from its vast scale to the depth of its quality. And uh, it extends to the, uh, the customer's interaction with physical device mm -hmm. and uh, to the uh, uh, actual environment, uh, even customer's behavioral pattern. The wealth of multi facility data uh, is our unique asset, uh, which is not easily found in most companies. 
The second one is orchestrated intelligence mm -hmm. uh, by so-called LG AI engine. LG AI engine is a power engine uh, utilizing the set of the small and large AI model and built on our accumulated uh, knowledge and intelligence. Our goal mm. is to deliver personalized uh, experience in uh, every space. And uh, we first provide uh, AI home and continue to expand to the other spaces, to commercial and, and mobility even metaverse. And ultimately, we'll be offering the LG's unique proposition, which is space as a service. I saw a photo of you and Mark mm. Zuckerberg, mm -hmm. and I know that you discussed mm. Meta's large language models mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. How are you thinking of incorporating that sort of technology into what you do? Yeah, that should be the hybrid model of the, we have our own uh, language model, although it's not that large, uh, like the uh, open AIs and so on and so on. So there's a combination of our model and their large language model. We call it hybrid model. They will be uh, built on our devices, so-called uh, to realize the on-device AI, mm -hmm. to really create customer experience for that. Let's talk a little bit about the home appliance business mm -hmm. as well, because you've actually seen very strong sales in India from mm -hmm. your subsidiary, despite the fact that this mm -hmm. is a very competitive market. Mm -hmm. What sort of expectations do you have about mm -hmm. that market, and could we see an IPO anytime soon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so on top of uh, our major market, like North America, Europe, and Korea, we see a lot of potential, gross potential in other emerging markets. Uh, like India and Latin America and Middle East. So let me take an example of an Indian market. In India, we boast a uh, number one market share in every single product. So as you know, India is one of the fastest growing market in the world. And uh, the India will be, uh, continue to be a, a key uh, market for our growth. Uh, but it's not about uh, just the product sales. Uh, we aim to be the national brand in India. So as a company, uh, we have grown uh, and loved by Indian people. We understand we should grow with Indian people, and uh, providing the, the product and solution which will make eventually their life better. And for the IPO, yeah, I understand uh, there's increased interest in Indian market among global investors. And Especially with Hyundai's successful right, Indian right. IPO as yeah, well. We follow all the IPO you know, events of the other the companies. Yeah. Uh, it is, uh, yes, increased interest, uh, but as of now, it's, uh, nothing is confirmed. Uh, but it's being considered? At some uh, point. It is one of the uh, many uh, multiple options we can consider. Nothing uh, is not yet confirmed. Are there any other growth markets mm. that you're targeting? Mm. You've mentioned India, you've mentioned Latin America, the yeah. Middle East as well. Mm. What do markets like China look like given the economic uncertainty there? Chinese market is hyper competitive. Uh, due to the uh, multiple players uh, in China. Uh, I think they are struggling uh, with the uh, shrinking demand in China. Uh, that made the competition even more severe. So for the time being, uh, we do have some uh, presence uh, through the online uh, businesses. We are in kind of status in uh, wait and see for now.